What is good? We're back. Today we got some ADP for you with rookies post combine. So we're going to go ahead and move those guys up where we think they might be heading to. Uh, so going to cover some ground here. Hopefully not take up too, too much of your time, but mostly going to stay within the top 50. And then we'll kind of at the end throw in some honorable mentions. Jay Wayne, how you doing? You ready to get rolling today? Oh, yeah. You must subscribe. I don't even know. You can't watch anymore unless you subscribe. <laughs> or at least hit me with a like or a, con- or a minty. If you're watching sort. or listening on, on pod- any podcast, go ahead and hit us with a five-star review. That would be greatly appreciated. We also have FF Dynasty t-shirts available at uh, revelrybrewingco.com. Go to the shop and you can... Uh, so soft. Get, your, get yourself one of those little softies over there that were... <laughs> Uh, you know, exclusive to patrons before this, but now uh, you can support the show by going and grabbing yourself one of those. I can't believe that we finally have a t-shirt for sale to the public. It's Boom. been way too long. I don't know what we've been doing. Just sorting through ADP. Sorting through ADP. <laughs> so we're going to kind of put ADP up against last month's ADP. And then, like I said, we're going to have there's rookies in this one. This is the first ADP from DLF with rookies in it and then we're going to kind of move those take our own uh spin on it we'll have post combine and move these rookies around a little bit and see where they fall so you ready round one fight uh jonathan so, taylor king dingling of course love it just um, so just for, for for the people watching uh february adp january adp how it's changed over the course of one month which right. you know Shout out to Ryan McDowell and, and uh, Dynasty League Football for putting all this together. But, man, we waited a while for February ADP. <laughs> they, they got it out on, like, the last day. It's a short we month. We were itching. It's a short month. We were waiting. Short month. <laughs> but uh, they, they got it out, and we wanted to do the review. Uh, so here, here we're going to show you how it's changed. And for those of you listening on the podcast, if you go over to the YouTube channel, there will be graphics, and you can see all this rather than as, as tough as it might be to follow yeah. along verbally. So- Taylor, Jefferson, Chase, no change, whatever, do whatever you need to do. <laughs> Najee, uh, up three spots. So look Didn't at see you. that coming. Boom, jumped ahead of Swift. Uh, Swift stays, drops down one, um, and but stays inside the top five. And then old Pitts. Kyle Pitts and non-tight end premium. Coming which all the way up. I think I, I think I got to pass on Pitts that early. And, and non-tight, and non-tight end, premium, end premium? Which these, these, these are non-tight end premium. Right. But, if, but we're always playing tight end premium. If it's tight end premium, let me get Swift. Um, cup. If it's non tight end premium, let me get Swift. No, if it's if it's tight end premium, let me get Swift or let me get uh, Pitts there. Pitts. Yeah, but yeah, I'm probably gonna push him down. Cooper Cup up from seven, up from eighteen to seven. So that's a big jump. That's way too hot. That's too much. Yeah, I, mean, I love Cooper Cup as much as anyone, but not, I mean, except for these drafters, <laughs> that's some recency bias right there. It's, it's, I mean, obviously he crushed, but we've we've talked about this at length. I mean, I, I'm not probably not drafting a 29 year old receiver, mm. and you move him down into where those those running backs who are 26, 27 are at. And now now it's like, all right, well, really, what's the difference at that point? Right. You know? uh, but anyway, C D Lamb. Uh, down a couple spots, five to eight. AJ Brown, uh, six to nine. Uh, so he's down a couple spots. The camera's in the way for that one. So who? who CMC. <laughs> CMC jumps. Oh, well, he jumps down uh, two spots. Javante stays the same. Little little surprised by that. There's a DK. little Melvin Gordon rumbling, maybe coming back to uh, Denver to just dash everybody's dreams. That would be, that would be uh, terrible. So that would probably knock him down out of the first round if Melvin came back Melvin for, for a year. I mean, you don't need to drop him down too much because he's still going to be just fine um, and, and still super young. But he'd probably, I would assume after that news broke, he'd probably fall back a couple picks out of the first round. DK hanging in the in the the first round sneaks in is Russell. So Russell scrubbed his Instagram. Russell, Russell. which that takes some work, right? He probably had somebody do it, but like he's got a team. He's got a he's got some guys. They said get rid of it. They spent all day probably scrubbing. Which what I want to know is did he archive them or did he delete them? Because if you archive it, you could bring it back. You could you could it'll show back up on your timeline like he he never left it. He seems like an archiver. He doesn't have the. 
the spine and just be like, fuck you guys. No, no. <laughs> He's a little soft. Oh, go Hawks. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's get the next I thought, round. I thought Give Russell me the next was round. coming in, but I thought Russell was going to stay maybe. but Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? No. <sighs> DK. Maybe everybody just stays in this whole offseason. It's just a little wild offseason. They need to make some not. fucking decisions. Free agency's about to hit. You got to tag them. Like, it's the time to fish your cup fucking bait teams. Roto World Blurbs will be flowing in like wine pretty mm-hmm. soon. All right, round two. Sorry, let's move along. Jesus, um, Debo. Debo up some spots. Uh, Waddle up some spot. Up one spot. So, you know, I like. I like my guy Waddle moving mm-hmm. up some spots. The coaching change. Got a little Waddle video out there. Check that out. Mm. Uh, Tyreek down a few spots. Dalvin. Uh, Hovering, man. With the- down a couple spots. But, you know, all these guys are relatively staying in the same ballpark. Cooper Cup, probably the biggest jump so far. How's Dalvin staying so high? People are not concerned at all about his off the field potential issue? Yeah, I don't know. How's don't know. he staying up so high? Uh, Maybe you should trade Dalvin. If you could get... Middle of the second I don't, I don't round know. startup, yeah. Value. Well, Devontae Adams, he he drops down a little bit with some uncertainty, and his name T popping up with oh. the Super Bowl appearance. T twenty two to eighteen. Go Tigers. Uh, Austin Eckler, he is going uh, up. He's trending up. So we we did a little Robbie Jeffries uh, ranking of guys, and Eckler was at the top of the list of the older guys that we would still be interested in. Uh, Mixon hovering 2019. He's right in the same range. Derrick Henry. Now he's he fell off. He's coming back around. He's from from 35 to 21. So that's a nice jump for him. Just I guess seeing him out on the he field. Literally came back and showed he was not dead. In fact, Deontay Johnson, uh, and then Mark Andrews, I believe, in a non tight end premium situation Moves here, up four moving spots. up some spots. So he's coming up. K Makers graces the field with his presence. He jumps up a couple spots. Told you. Yep. Just a video about that a long time ago. Let me hit that third round, dog. Three. Fight. Uh, J.K. Dobbins, he's hovering. Give me Dobbins over Akers. Uh, Gibson over Akers. Yeah, agreed. Diggs down a couple spots, but, you know, relatively the same. Kamara, big dip here. A lot of uncertainty over there, but he beat beat some dude up, and he doesn't have Drew Brees and a quarterback. and a, No Sean Any Payton. quarterback and no Sean Payton. But does have some continuity with uh, Dennis Allen taking over, correct? Sure. And might sign Jameis. And yeah. I mean, I think Kamara can be just fine. But and you know, he got in a fight just a lot with of the questions guy, there, so, so, I, so I get it. I don't know what'll happen, but he, and he is a little old. The contract is he's, he's in Eckler's age range. The contract is keeping him keeping him there for at least probably two more years. I mean, they got him, but maybe even three years. So. DJ Moore sits tight, Chubb uh, down ten spots. Seems like you know for he's been long, kind of the everybody's least favorite great guy. Um, yeah, Saquon thirty one twenty one. So another dip for Saquon. So we started off rookies veterans versus uh, with Saquon and Chubb as uh, the players. Whether or not that you would trade the for. Mostly, we're speaking of Brees Hall and and Spiller uh, and, and and our minds Walker and uh, Garrett Price said that probably Chubb, but gonna ride the Saquon bus one more time. So you know, I guess I can get behind that. But Give me this, Brees with this, you know, with you know, sticking I think, to it. I'm doubling down. I think you know, fuck it. At this point, I think I would. I think I would have to agree. All right. Um, but you know, is what it is. Kelsey. He's back up some points. Um, he's up from 43 to, to 32 this month. Kittle, um, he's kind of hovering down th- up three spots. Josh Allen, first quarterback off the board. Uh, Chris Godwin, getting he's dropping. He dropped five spots. So, obviously, he's got the late season ACL uh, and uncertain where his future is going to be. Sounds um, like the Bucks. But yeah, uncertain with the Bucks. I really, Who's really, really want to be? be all in and buy the value on Godwin, and I probably am down with it. But I do have a little bit of pause there. Then Mahomes rounds this uh, round out with him and Josh Allen basically being back to back. So who's going to be pick. the Bucks quarterback next season? That's big question mark. Jimmy G. Jimmy. Jimmy's already slated to go multiple other places. Uh, so here we go. We're going to pick it up. Montgomery. He's basically same spot. Elijah Moore. Uh, staying in the same spot, Terry McLaurin, he's down a couple spots. Man, if he could get a quarterback, 
I think he's as good as some of those previously stated receivers, but right now probably properly or maybe even a hair overrated for for what the situation is. But QB, TBD, uh, ET, up some spots. Love that. Josh Jacobs getting some respect on his name. Big time. 20-point jump. Look we at that. We got a regime change there, So and, and it hasn't been uh, the most running back friendly for a workhorse in the Patriots. Right. Uh, being yeah, the, being scary the as shit. Patriots. James White. Vegas over there, but maybe he's like, hey, we got a good guy. We're not going to, you know, that was what we did over there, but that's not what we're going to do here. They'll probably have bring in somebody else, but that being Jacobs said, is I mean, good. Pete, I, Pete Jacobs Blunt is good, deserves some been... respect, needs to be healthy, and uh, if you throw it to him, you got a little bit more pass catching going on, it seemed like, near the end of last year. So at least, right, he put it on tape last year that he could catch the ball, which we believed he could do and have been pounding the table to get him more targets, but... I would say that uh, Josh Jacobs is probably one of the better running backs that McDaniels has had access to. So, right, it's been a while since they had a really great sure. one. So, probably have some other concerns as well. So, then we got Pittman, forty two, forty four. He's kind of hanging in there. Carson Wentz probably out of there, uh, but you know they're gonna, they're, they're going to try to figure out what the upgrade is. And now we get to Brees Hall. So now we're at the rookie who just crushed the combine. That's going up. So that's going I mean up. I, I think you could pretty much just take Brees and move him right into the second round right now. Well let's let's backtrack it. So we've got to take Brees over all the running backs on this board. And then we just said we take him over Saquon. Mm-hmm. And I mean Saquon's probably higher on this list. Probably like what? Got him over Kamara? Chubb. You got Saquon over Chubb over Kamara? Probably. Yeah, and then so Gibson or Dobbs, Dobbins. So Brees is at least right in there at the beginning of the third round with, with Dobbins, Gibson, Yeah, and I, and I think in general, I think people are going to jump him ahead of all the Ecklers. Derrick Henry, Mixon, the, Eckler for sure. Dalvin, got to take Brees. Akers, if yeah. I could trade Dalvin for Brees tomorrow, I'll do it. Let me yeah. get the 1-1. If someone give me Dalvin, someone will give me the 1-1 for Dalvin, I'll do it tomorrow just reload and get the younger guy For sure 100%. i mean dalvin could uh, if he plays he's great he could win you a championship this next year i don't think he's done by any means he could have two or three more years in him but like you know Brees, you're getting it's a guy who, who could Resetting. be who could be near as good as dalvin or if not better and you're probably getting you know six years out of him which Brees probably not as strong in the passing game yet mm. but mm, look fine to me i mean dalvin catches a ton of fucking balls Brees look fine to me. He looks fine, and I'm not saying he can't. I just don't know. Give me back to the third or fourth round. Fourth here. round. That's Maestro. where we're at. Maestro. Brees Hall. Brees Hall. So we, we got him moving way up. Mike Evans kind of hovering 44, 46. Calvin Ridley, obviously, we don't know what the hell is going to happen there, but he's Jeez, out of there. He just so. hit. He gambled on a game, and they found out about it. How the fuck does that happen? 1500 bucks. That's that's what he claims. Yeah. It, He's going to miss a season over $1,500? What the fuck is going on? Yeah, I don't know. They, I, you know I don't How do you they... leave with mental issues and then gamble on your team? You know, it's maybe actually that sounds about right. Well, I mean, I don't. I think he was just gambling and just having a good time. And... Which, what the fuck? 1500 bucks? Like, this yeah. is so stupid. But I mean, it's stupid that he can't gamble on anybody right. if he's not playing. Right. But those are the rules. And. You know, whatever you got to keep integrity for blah guess, blah blah. But really, yeah, the, really, not, got, to me, it's like Calvin anymore. did 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 the Dolphins owner do anything, and why why isn't he being more looked into for trying to throw games, basically, which would be right, you know, right, or some illegal that's, meeting? That's with really Deshaun the biggest problem I have Flores. with, with yeah. this whole thing. Like so, so right, but it doesn't seem like anything right now is coming to that. So, and so we got our first rookie receiver here, forty six. Um, so he's probably going to move down a couple and, and he'll probably swap with place with Garrett Wilson and, and, and maybe even Drake, like we talked about in the combine show feels like since he didn't participate, his stock has increased, uh, cause there's almost more intrigue and like, Oh, oh why didn't and, he do it? Why went back he... and check that profile. And, uh, yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I mean, um, Drake London's good. And if you want to take him over Burks, I can't argue too much with you. So, I mean, I guess, would you, would you draft? Either of those receivers over Mike Evans? Yeah, I guess I got to do that. Because I don't know who Mike Evans' quarterback is. If it was Tom Brady, then I'll take the 1,000 yards and 10 touchdowns. But, like, ish. and he's old. He's he's definitely old. Uh, he's 20. Yeah, he'll be 29 before November. So, yeah. in this year, he'll be 
twenty nine. So got him, you know, over Keenan probably still, even though Keenan's great. Nah, give me Keenan because he's got he, Keenan is Mitchell. the top of the old dudes because he's got Justin Herbert yeah. for two more years. He's uh, he's pretty old already though too, right? Keenan, yeah, yeah, he's twenty nine. Um, Keenan is well, he'll be thirty. He'll be thirty before this year's done. But he's got he's got a bunch of money. He's not going anywhere this year. I mean, he's been crushing. And then he's got 5.4 dead in 23, so that's a pretty team-friendly deal. I can't see him being gone for the next two years, being Justin Herbert's safety blanket, crushing points. So I'll, let me get Keenan out. I feel pretty safe still with might, Keenan Allen. Still might draft maybe those top two or three rookies over Keenan. Yeah, Allen. sure, but over, over Mike I, Evans. No, no, that's what I was asking. I was asking about the oh, rookies. Oh, I thought you meant over Mike Evans. Yeah. Uh, the rookies, if I could trade, so what, you'd be trading like one? One, 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 two. I don't, I mean, for, I would definitely trade people. Keenan for that but i mean you're not going to get that but like could you get one four and get drake you know or 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 burks or somebody's going to fall to one four Mm -hmm. if i could trade keenan i probably would do that at at least like getting younger i got a lot of keenan i I could diversify some of it yes but i mean right and keenan is going to slay for the next two years i i I really believe that so you could sit tight with a good team um but you could also reset with one of those guys i'm fine with that we got the last, last. Got the last one. You I don't have the graphic. Oh my have god! The, you son of a bitch! I can only, I, there, I can only fit forty-eight. Sue me. All right, so forty-nine and fifty are Amon Ross, St. Brown, and Aaron Jones. Um, so uh, Kenneth Walker's way down at eighty-five. Uh, That's he's, coming. He's coming way, way up. up. He's probably four three eight, baby. He's gonna at least shoot onto this last page of graphic that you were just showing you where mm-hmm. Brees Hall is. He, he might take a Brees Hall's place, and Brees Hall jumps up, you know, damn near twenty spots. Um, Walker could jump up even higher for and, sure. And you know, I don't know how this is gonna affect Spiller, but probably he's at fifty. He's at fifty two right now. So I mean, I would I would say the he didn't same, run out forty. What's he hiding? The same or down because hurt. it's just. These just like we talked about in the combine video. Now there's some hype associated with some guys, and you know you're not as excited about some of these other fifty top fifty guys as you are as what just happened. You know there's some hype and some excitement, and uh, you know you can. So it's a good time to first time maybe that you want to even entertain trying to sell your rookie picks because they're probably the most valuable that they've been throughout this process, and you know time is just going to keep increasing the value for the most part so right as you get closer towards the draft your value your picks become more valuable as as or and 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 post draft you know well i guess if there's a bunch of bad landing spots then they could potentially devalue a little bit but you still know then you know who's going where and who you can get and that's what makes them even more you're assigning a player's value a player to that position so that makes it even more valuable and so you got to you know, if you're trying to trade it, you want to hold for a second, unless you get fair value. But I think people are like saying that that, that no one will part with 23 picks because everybody knows that 22 is a trash class and 23 is the best ever. So if people are devaluing 22 see the picks, 2050 class. Like, let me get. <laughs> well, there is that like one little quarterback that, that's uh, throwing these ridiculous six, <laughs> six year old or so. You got him in the Debbie. Debbie, uh, Debbie, Debbie League or whatever. Mm-hmm. I forget I, wh- who we have while we were talking about that. I forget. But if people are devaluing the twenty two class, let me get some of these picks, man. These are a lot of good players. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's been pretty fun so far. I think Drake and 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 Garrett Wilson, like we talked about, they're going to hop up definitely probably on that last page. I don't know so much Drake, but Garrett Wilson's going to hop probably take that. Traylon spot, he'll probably drop down a couple spots. Really, will be way out of there. And, Evans is yep. going to keep falling, and and Drake could easily shoot up in there. Although Evans jumped up two spots, that's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, I mean that's 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 probably it for the big rookies thus far. I mean, I think Pickens is probably going to come up. He's not going to come up that far, but he's going to get out of the nineties. I think where he's at right now, ninety five. Um, I don't know where Olave's at eighty, so he he's probably going to you know pick his way up into into the 70s maybe on this next round maybe right. maybe even more 60s and and just just to state it this adp was done pre-combine so we're kind of just projecting right where we think they'll end up when yeah march's adp comes around or maybe even takes till april i'm not exactly sure when so i think they pump these out but i think that's about where we're going to end up and and i think like you said we're we're going to do a, a rookie mock here shortly in the next couple of days as well as a live super flex mock so we'll kind of see a little bit more integration and and how people how, how people view our patrons view the rookies and how how the 
combine has maybe swayed and moved some guys around and then we'll see a super flex draft where just how high Brees hall will get drafted and now it's not going to be quite the same as a one qb like we're looking at right here because obviously the quarterbacks are you know you're going to add a round and a half to probably a lot of these things that we're talking about but um so be sure to uh subscribe and tune into all that kind of stuff uh but yeah so this is a little adp review you want to take us out? Let's hit it. Appreciate y'all joining us. Like Casey said, please let me get a subby, a scribey. Please, if you made it this far, let me let me get it. And then on Spotify and iTunes, you just go tap five stars, baby. Just tap. Just give a little tap. A little tappy tap, you know? That's pretty much it. Go to the Revelry Brewing Company, revelrybrewingco.com. I'll put a link in the description. Get you a fresh, soft tea. Mm, these things are so soft. They are. They're a little bit, you know, they're, they're not the cheapest the t-shirt, but you know what happens when you buy the cheapest t-shirt. You fucking, it's, the shit peels off. I've been wearing this shirt for like five years. <laughs> Still good, looks good. Strong, uh, strong, strong cotton over there. Yeah. Good blend. We, we, uh, the revelry does it right. We paired it with them. The boys are hooking us up. We'll ship it out. Boom. Right to your doorstep. Appreciate y'all guys for listening. We'll be back with more Dynasty content for your... Grrrr. <laughs>